Effective personal defense requires situational awareness and the right means to defend yourself. For many Americans, this means that they have to carry guns around them. But carrying full-size guns isn't practical and convenient, which in turn gave birth to the popularity of compact and subcompact handguns that you can conceal from the public eye. The market for concealed carry guns is growing every year. Despite that, there are still a select number of handguns that offer better concealability than the rest. What's up, everyone? This is your boy Ted from Line 45. In this episode, I will be showing you the most concealable handguns you can purchase right now. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. Ruger Security 9 The Security 9 of Ruger is the perfect marriage of affordability and functionality. It's easy to operate and almost anyone can buy this pistol. It has an MSRP of $379, but its quality isn't cheap. It's available in different chamberings, and regardless of which one you pick, this semi-auto pistol remains concealable. Some of the interstate truck drivers I know bag this gun with them for protection, and for the rest, you know that this is a prolific concealed carry gun. Similar to the other guns I listed here, the Security 9 is another case of small but robust. It has a capacity of 15 plus 1 rounds, which should give you sufficient firepower in any application. The Security 9 is also a lightweight pistol. It uses a polymer frame and a double-action-only mechanism. And no, this isn't a striker-fired gun. Whether you believe it or not, the Security 9 is a hammer-fired gun, with the system being taken directly from the LCP series of Ruger. This mechanism is a good choice considering that it already has proven its worth in the range and actual combat. As I mentioned, the Security 9 isn't a cheaply made pistol. Its chassis, for instance, has been made from aluminum with a hard anodized coating. Meanwhile, the barrel and slide of the pistol are crafted from hard-end steel. This pistol can take a beating and remain reliable and accurate. But since it's affordable, some of its aspects can be considered subpar. For example, the sights, while functional, are plastic and don't have the ledge design that might be needed for a carry pistol. Fortunately, the sights are contoured, so snagging is still out of the picture. Smith & Wesson Shield Plus I'm a huge fan of the M&P series in general. Right from the get-go, these guns are designed with duty in mind. But if we are talking about actual concealment, then the Shield Plus is the gun I can recommend. The pistol itself is extremely compact and light, and most importantly, it works the way you expect it. The ergonomics are great, which in turn lets you control its recoil and maximize your accuracy. The key distinction of the Shield Plus from its predecessor is the mag capacity. Essentially, the Shield Plus holds 10 rounds of 9mm on its flush fit mag, while its extended magazine has 13 rounds. I also noticed that its magazines have better craftsmanship than the mags used in the original Shield pistol. Despite the increase in its capacity, the size of the grip wasn't enlarged substantively. Hence, I can't really say that there's a huge impact when it comes to grip ergonomics. However, the entire Shield Plus pistol is almost similar in size to the Shield 2.0, which means that it can use the holsters for Shield 2.0 pistols as well. Aside from its concealability, the Shield Plus has a flat face trigger, which is arguably good. It travels short, breaks crisply with little creep, and resets positively. I find this trigger better than the triggers used in other M&P pistols. Also, its slide lets you slide red dots into it, and once you do, these optics will co-witness with the iron sights. Glock 43X Choosing the Glock 43X to be part of this list has nothing to do with its novelty, but with the expectation that this Glock pistol will be as reliable and handy as the rest of its predecessors. The Glock 43X is a slightly larger version of the Glock 43, and it's something that is made to compete with more popular subcompact pistols like the P365 and Hellcat. That fact alone made the reception of the 43X a bit lukewarm at first. But after people started to pick this up, word of mouth spread like bushfire, simply stating that this Glock pistol is actually great. The Glock 43X is chambered in 9mm and has a capacity of 10 rounds. It has a barrel length of 3.41 inches and an empty weight of 16.4 ounces. It has a slim grip of 1.1 inches, so it's really easy to grip and holster the pistol. 
Keep in mind that the Glock 43X is part of the Slimline series of Glock, and these guns are designed for concealed carry. The RTF grip texture is tacky, but isn't that aggressive? Since it isn't a snappy of a pistol, I don't find the need for it to have aggressive texturing. Compared to the P365 and Hellcat, I find the Glock 43X a lot easier to shoot, given that it's slightly bigger than those guns. The size difference isn't that much. It's slightly longer and thicker, but this little improvement in the size makes the G43X a better shooter. Springfield Hellcat Pro The Hellcat Pro carries more rounds on its mags than the original Hellcat. The original Hellcat has a capacity of 11 plus 1 rounds, while the Hellcat Pro sports a stunning 15 plus 1 capacity, despite the increase in its size isn't that significant? By all means, the Hellcat Pro is still a concealable pistol and features modernized capabilities, such as an optics-ready configuration. Its footprint in the slide is compatible with the Shield RMSC pattern. This indicates that the gun is suitable for red dots, such as the Romeo Zero. But there are also adapter plates where you can fit red dots with different footprints. But hey, don't get me wrong, the gun works fine and accurately even without a red dot. The Tritium Day Night Sights are effective for even tactical applications. At 25 yards, the Hellcat Pro with its stock sights is simply accurate. The Hellcat Pro also introduces the adaptive grip texture, which is one of the prolific features of the gun. Every time you squeeze the grip, the texture grips your hands together. It's definitely tacky and tactile, enabling the gun to stick to your hands even if they are wet. Fortunately, the tackiness of this texture isn't aggressive. All the controls are low profile and ambidextrous. They are fairly accessible given the size of the pistol. They function very positively and allow for fuss-free operation. Sig Sauer P365. In terms of concealability and overall performance, the P365 really tops the list. This pistol revolution is the subcompact segment by proving a point that a small gun can carry at least 10 rounds of ammo. The design is slim too, it's narrow enough to fit into your holster, making it very easy to hide. It's also worth noting that the P365 is a lightweight handgun, being a polymer striker-fired pistol. Thus, even if you bring it daily, it will not be a hefty luggage. Every time you fire the P365, its polymer frame flexes a little, which in turn helps soak the recoil. The standard capacity of the P365 is 10 rounds of 9 mm but it's also available in 12-round and 15-round mags. It gives you the stopping power that you need in a small package. It has a stainless steel slide with appropriate serrations here and there for positive press checks and manipulation. The slide also has the X-Ray 3 day-night sights that ensure precise target acquisition. The sights are visible, but they are contoured, so they don't snag at all. Meanwhile, the controls, such as its slide release, mag release, and takedown lever, are designed to be low-lying and non-obtrusive, which, again, helps with the overall concealability of the P365. You can find different configurations for the P365 these days, all of which are arguably better than the original. But in terms of simplicity and effectiveness, I will always double down with the OG SIG P365. Staccato CS I was supposed to put the Staccato CS higher than the P365, but in the grand scheme of things, I can't just convince anyone that the P365 is better than the CS. Both are equally concealable, but the performance, ergonomics, and overall features of the Staccato CS make it a step higher than most of its competitors. The Staccato CS is a double-stack, 2011 pistol that features a 16 plus 1 round capacity. Surprisingly enough, the gun remains relatively slim and short. Its barrel spans 3.5 inches long, and the entire gun weighs 27 ounces when unloaded. One convincing quality of the Staccato CS is its reliability. It cycles every ammo that I feed on it. It can reach 5,000 rounds with zero malfunctions, and when cleaned and maintained properly, it's easy for the pistol to surpass 10,000 rounds with no issues. At the same time, it has stunning accuracy, even while just using its stock sights. With a red dot, tight groupings at 50 yards are completely possible. Because the gun has a nice weight on it, it can shoot flatly. Recoil is minimal, and its muzzle flip is something you can tame with little practice. Moreover, its recoil system has a dual guide rod system that further enhances its accuracy. 
It's easy to get used to the Staccato CS because of its user-driven ergonomics. The grip molds nicely to my hands, and the slide can be manipulated with minimal effort. It uses 1911-style controls and triggers, which you'll certainly love if you are a big fan of 1911 pistols. Plus, the construction of Staccato CS features tight tolerance, so all components fit seamlessly. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe. Take care and stay safe.